The U.S. Open Women's Singles Tournament is officially down to two players. American Jessica Pugula rallied past Czech player Karolina Mulhova. Uh, to make her first, her way rather to her first career Grand Slam final. She's going to play number two ranked Arena Sabalenka in the title match Saturday. Sabalenka advanced to the final after defeating American Emma Navarro. Charlie Eccleshare is joining us now to talk a little bit more about tennis. He is the tennis writer for The Athletic. I swear to God, I'll probably master everyone's name when this damn tournament's over, and it'll be too late. Uh, but let's talk about it. Uh, Fagula has been able to make a three-set comeback last night, or she was able to. How did she do it? Yeah, well, the match hinged, really. There was a point. She was a set and a breakdown and a point to go down a double break. And then Makova, who'd been so dominant. I mean, Pagula said up until that point, she said that Makova made her look like a beginner um, mm. and that she she was going to burst into tears because it was just so one-sided. But she missed the volley. And you just sense, you know, even in that moment, you're like, okay, could that be a bit of a turning point? And it was. Uh, she got, she then held surf for 2 1 and then broke back, won the set, and then came through in the decider. But really impressive from Buguda because, you know, I think a lot of players might have just thought, like, this is going so against me. I'm being dominated here. It's over. But yeah, she carried on and a microcosm for her career because she's had a lot of setbacks and she's she's kept going. Mm, all right. So it's going to be Pagula versus Sabalenka. What sort of matchup is that going to be? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Sabalenka is probably the hittest, the hardest hitter on the tour. Um, she absolutely levers the ball. I mean, her power is scary. And the, the seats on Arthur Ashe, the press seats, some of them are right down low. And you can see it up close. And it's like, whoa, you know, it's it's kind of scary looking at it, let alone being on the receiving end of it. But Baguda's a great mover. Um, and if she can get some of these big Sabalenka shots back, Sabalenka can sometimes get frustrated. And last year in the final against Coco Goff, she didn't like the fact that, you know, the crowd was so for so on Goff's side. And I think it, it frazzled her a little bit. Hmm. Uh, and she'll have to put through that same dynamic again on Saturday. Isn't it so interesting? Because you think, like, these are world-class athletes kind of at the top of their game, if you will. Though, you know, in some cases, one of the things that's sort of so interesting about tennis is sometimes people are not at the top of their game and then they're able to beat those at the top. Um, you wouldn't think they would get rattled by, you know, the crowd's cheers or jeers, but somehow they do. Yeah, I mean, Ash is different. You know, 24,000 people, it's so steep. It can, it can be quite intimidating, I think, for players, you know, more so than any other court. In the world, probably it can get quite raucous. Um, and you know, when there's so much on the line and you're so stressed anyway going into it, sometimes these things do make a difference. So huh. they're gonna need to get behind Jessica Baguda because she is the underdog. Um, but yeah, we saw it with Sabalenka last year, we've seen it many times. The crowd can be a really powerful force here. All right, so uh, the men's single semifinals are today. Tell us who is playing today and what we can expect. So the first match is Yannick Sinner uh, of Italy against Britain's Jack Draper. Um, they're good friends off the court. Sinner's the big favorite, the world number one. It's Draper's first uh, Grand Slam semi-final. Been a real breakthrough run for him. But yeah, he'll he'll go in as a big underdog. But you know, he, he he's playing so well, he's got a chance. And then it's the big one in the night session: uh, Taylor Fritz against Francis Tiafo. Two Americans, good buddies. Uh, it's going to be fascinating. Um, are you willing to go out on a limb and say who you think's got a better, ch better chance of winning? Uh, well, I think Sinner will win the first one. And then in that one, Fritz has won six out of the seven meetings between him and Tiafo. So I think you've got to go with that. Mm -hmm. So I'll say Taylor Fritz, but I think it'll be tight. All right, Charlie, thank you very much. Thank you.